Hey guys, today I want to talk about keeping your private life private. And this is something you need to start at the very beginning from the moment that you get here. And you want to keep your private life, life private as much as possible from everybody. And I mean everybody. I had a friend of mine named Mike. Mike um, had this girlfriend who was a lot younger than him. And it, this, is, this is going back five years ago. And it always comes to mind whenever I talk about privacy. Uh, Mike was very open about things. He thought he could trust everybody. He thought Filipinos could be trusted 100%. And, you know, just like with anybody else, even back in the United States, you can't trust everybody. And he had this feeling like you could kind of trust people. And he was dating this girl who was a lot younger than him. And uh, he used to send her down to get money for him and things like that. And give him, give her the, the pin number and everything. And he was with her for probably a few months tops. Um... And she knew everything about him. She knew when his checks came, how they came, how much they were for, everything. She had a, a really good running knowledge of all this information. Um, I guess Mike left a lot of papers out. Plus, he would he was very open about it just in case something happened or whatever. And and this is the way you shouldn't be, okay? You, you should not do this because later on, this stuff comes into play. Sometimes either when you're sick or maybe they'll use it against you, or maybe something will happen. Maybe they'll steal it from you. Things can happen later on that you're gonna regret later on that you did not tell anybody your personal information, okay? Both where the money comes from, how much money you're getting. Uh, you don't wanna give out PIN numbers for sure, you know, um, unless it's a really dear, close friend that you really trust or something like that. But I wouldn't be giving out your PIN number and things like that. And what happened to Mike was this, Mike got, got sick he had a, a, a pacemaker um, he went into the hospital um, he ended up passing away I've told this story before but what happened to him was that when he died they grabbed his wallet the girl grabbed, grabbed his wallet saying she was the common law wife um, and we had to fight to get the wallet back we had we got the uh, VFW involved the embassy involved um, and, and the police involved uh, we ended up getting the wallet back. We had to even fight for the body, believe it or not, because uh, the, the, the police were holding up the body for a while. And there's more to the story. It gets much worse than this. This is just the Reader's Digest version. But anyway, the girl kind of clean, helped clean out the account. Let's put it that way. Because she had the PIN number. She had the wallet. She had the, car, the card. She was taking money. We ended up retrieving some of the money, if I remember correctly. This is like five years ago. But anyway... It's a case where too much information get out. I don't think the wallet would have been taken if they couldn't have used the pin, you know, the, the, the um, ATM card with the pin number. She had the pin number. You should never give out your pin number. You should keep your anonymity as much as you can with get with everybody, you know, girlfriends, friends. Um, when you're signing documents to go into, like, let's say you're going to check out a, a condo or something like that that you're thinking about buying. Some of these gated communities have you sign in and everything, and, and they have you fill out a lot of information, too much information. You don't want that information out there. You don't want people calling you, at, you know, 8 o'clock at night or 9 o'clock at night, you know, breaking your peace, you know, as I call it. They're breaking your peace. They're, getting, they're, they're taking away your peace. So be careful of stuff like that because put down the wrong phone number. They don't know. Put down the wrong address. They don't know. Unless you're going into, like, a public building, uh, a building that is... Um, owned by the government or something like that and, and it's it's a it's um, you know pretty there's a lot of security there if they're not at, if they're not checking that information double checking it just put the wrong information down there put it put down the wrong phone number the wrong address you don't want people knowing your address and where you live and all your information it's just not stuff that you should be giving out also for you guys that really would like to have a lot of privacy this is where gated communities come in for you guys Gated communities can be really great for bachelors because it keeps out the, the the girls that are giving you problems and stuff like that. And if you break off with a girl, you don't have to worry about her coming back in unless the girl knows the guards. And in this case with this guy, with this friend of mine, Mike, um, this girl got kicked out and she managed to weasel her way back in because she knew the guards. And I've heard this many, many times. Other people that were over this place, it was over in Mungahan, um, that were over in this place, the guards were letting all the people in consistently um and that's happened several times over there with other friends that lived over there also that's one of the reasons why i don't i no longer recommend this place but anyway and i won't even mention the name of the place it's it's not just that place it's many other gated communities 
that the guards can be kind of corrupted over there either by bribes or sex or what have you you know they can they can be corrupted and they let these girls in you know and and the, you, you give them 20 pesos or 50 pesos and they're like oh okay, okay i'll let you in go ahead and then the, the guy gets pissed off and sometimes these guards get fired guards have been fired for this before so you want to make sure also that you keep on top of the guards also you keep friendly with the guards and keep telling the guards over and over, do not let anybody up to my place unless you call me and let me know that they're coming up to my house. Otherwise, they do not get in. So if you live in a gated community, protect yourself. Be smart. Do not give out your sources of your income. Do not give out how much income. Do not give out any, any addresses on yourself or anything unless you absolutely have to. Keep things private here especially in the Philippines. And you're going to thank me for that later on. Trust me. Keep things private. Let as few people know where you live as possible. Now, I'm a vlogger. People know where I live. You know, I mean, that, that's my life. I, I have to talk about these things to kind of teach you people things. But if there's one thing I can teach you, it's about anonymity. It's an important thing over here because too many people want to find out too much information because they're trying to figure out what your gig is. See if they can bump some money off you. See if they can sell you something. See if they can sell you a condo. See if they can steal from you. See if they can rip you off. Whatever it may be, be on top of it all the time. Be on top of your addresses, phone numbers, even your name for God's sakes. Use a different name if you have to. Use your middle name as your first name over here. That way it throws people off. You know, and they're gonna, you know, they'll they'll be saying your name, but they won't have your name right. So when they if somebody goes and you know, says something about you or whatever. They don't even have your name right. Just say, hey, it's not me. This is my ID right here. You know, just use a different name. You know, you can use that too. Because a lot of guys come over here, they really want to keep their anonymity and their privacy. And that's the best way to do it. You know, don't let Pete, don't give too much information to you. Anybody, girlfriends, friends, expats, um, anybody over here. Just don't. <laughs> it's the best advice I can give you over here. And I'm sure a lot of, a lot of other expats would tell you the same thing. Because it's just the truth over here. It's one of the things that will keep you out of a lot of trouble over here. Is keeping your anonymity. You know, keep your life private. Don't give out too much information to people. Don't give out too much information to girlfriends, expats, people you're sitting with talking. Things like that. They don't need to know. Your private life is your private life. Not their private life. It also stops a lot of gossip on you. Um, this is something that, 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 that in the Philippines... There's a lot of gossip over here. Let's let's face it. There just is, you know. And that's something that you sh you should learn in any neighborhood that you live in. That there's gonna be the cheese me's going around the, you know, the Mary Tessa, whatever they want they, they call it. You know, you, you want to be careful of that all the time. You do not want to be become a part of that. But guys, remember what I said. And throw away the key. You know, zip that mouth. You know, from day one that you get here is the best time to start on keeping quiet and keeping your privacy. From day one, the second you step off that plane, say my privacy is gonna be secure, I'm gonna keep things to myself, I'm not gonna give people too much information, you will learn why if you don't, the hard way, okay? You will learn the hard way. God bless, guys, take care. I hope you enjoyed today's show, and remember, stay private. Bye, guys, thanks.